Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Such a good shot. The background, it's perfect. So, oh, look at that. I think this is the most beautiful spot I've ever filmed. Hey, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to do a portrait shoot at one of the most prettiest beaches of North New Zealand. Or at least that's what I've read on the internet. I've never been. I actually tried to go to that beach last year, but there was a cyclone, so I couldn't enter. Still got some pretty cool shots of the cyclone, but didn't get the chance to shoot there. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Ding, ding, ding. Ready for round two in this video. I arranged a model. Her name is Natalie, and I've actually photographed her as well last year when I was in New Zealand. I'm gonna shoot during sunset. And if you're watching this and it is winter time where you are, hopefully this way I can bring the summer a bit more to you. So sit down, relax, watch me shoot and yeah. Before we head off, I'll just quickly run you through what I'm bringing to the photo shoot. My Canon R6 with a 35mm f1.4 from Sigma on top of it already. The 50mm f1.4 from Sigma. The 105mm from Sigma f2.8. Okay, so I got a whole bag of snacks and this is honestly a life-saving trick for your photo shoots because there's nothing more annoying than you getting hungry or the models getting hungry. So always make sure you've got some snacks. Yay! Hello! Hello. You made it! Natalie here doing the makeup. <laughs> beautiful. That's, oh, look at that rock. That's so beautiful. What the heck? I don't know where. It, well. Okay, so I actually brought a towel just so I can put my camera back on top of that because I've had plenty of times the sand got into my gear or into my laptop and I was in Bali and the sand got into my laptop and now it just makes this really weird noise. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my 50 mil. I think that'd be great for the first location. Wow, beautiful. Okay, so I'm sort of looking for a bit more of a compressed look. So I'm going for the 105 mil from Sigma as well. I'm gonna stand very far away, so my lens is very zoomed in. I reckon walk over there. Ah! It's really beautiful. I might swap lenses, but I love oh the... Oh my god, the top is... Oh my god, that's such a good shot. The background, it's perfect. Maybe whilst the sun is still going, sort of lean against this rock. Yep. Nice. Oh no! Okay, the sun is going down so fast, so we have to hurry. But now I'm just gonna get some wide shots with the 35 mil. I think that would be so nice, really shoot the surroundings. So let's do it. If you stay there, I'll just walk back. If you can do a really big movement again, I'll just use this whole rock formation behind you. Okay, the sunset's getting prettier and prettier every second. I'm literally vlogging with the tripod still on the camera. It looks so stupid, but we have to be quick because look, the tide is coming in as well and the sun is going. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Use that little sun flare. I can frame Natalie exactly 
behind the sunshine. Maybe we can try, like, maybe sitting? most beautiful spot I've ever filmed like a photograph like what the heck I'm gonna be switching from my 50 mil to the 105 mil just to get some nice close-up shots of Natalie's face let's do it wow yeah nice that's beautiful Now it's only your head and a bit of your hand. I might take a shot from very far away, but your whole body's going to be in it. Wow. Just be quick. Yeah, nice. So as you can see, I'm sort of like shaping the rock around Natalie. It's really pretty. That way she stands out because the background is dark. Great things never come from comfort zones. Is it all right for you just to climb? Do you see this rock here? That yeah, here? you yeah. sort of like sit on top of it. Okay, as you can see, it's still like such a beautiful sunset. We just finished up shooting, but we sort of, we had to stop because the tide was coming in so high. And this beach is famous for its like extreme rips and tides and stuff. So yeah, I think it's a good call that we left, but we got some amazing shots. How did you think we did? Yeah, right? As always. It's a bit cold now though. I can't oh. wait to eat some food and get, I have watermelon in the car. Yes. Yay. My favorite fruit. Put the heater on. Yep. And that's the end of the photo shoot. I really hope you enjoyed this photo shoot as much as I did. So we shot for about an hour and a half and I feel like we got a nice variety of shots. When it came down to the editing of these photos, I used my preset pack, which you can find in the description down below. My pack consists out of 25 presets, three bonus presets, and I've also added 28 editing tutorials as well. So yeah. And if you're ever in North New Zealand, 100% check out this beach. It looked like something from Avatar. It was so beautiful, as you've seen. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. And I also hope to see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye. Doei! You thought I was gonna end the video, but as I promised in my latest YouTube video, I am giving away three fog machines of Ulanzi's. So one of the rules of this giveaway was is that you had to share on which photo shoot you would use the fog machine. And it took me ages to go through all the ideas and I've seen so many good ones. And the first one is Kunt W. And I'm sorry if I'm butchering all the YouTube names. It's sometimes so hard to pronounce. And his idea was to use the fog during a portrait shoot of firefighters and fire trucks, which I think would be so cool. It will be, the fog will be such a cool addition to this photo shoot. So congrats. Then the next one is M.M. Captina. Um, and his idea is to shoot during a mountain bike photo shoot. So he shoots mountain bikes with friends and he wants to put the fog machine in the place where the mountain bikers come through. But there are ferns around it, which apparently only grow once a year. And I don't know, I can really envision how this is going to turn out. So make sure to send me your photos as well. I'm very excited to see it, but congrats to you.
And this idea is very well thought out, which I really appreciate. It's cool to see. And then the last one is Abstract One Videos 535. Congratulations. And his first idea is cool, but then I read the second idea and he wrote that he has a full astronaut suit, which he wants to shoot in a crazy landscape with the fog rolling from behind the rocks and orange light walking into the fog, sort of a desert vibe. I think it would be really cool. It reminds me of a movie, but I cannot get the name of it. But so congrats to all the winners. And I am so sorry if you didn't win. And it doesn't mean that your idea was bad, but it was just so hard to pick three. I wish I could give a fog machine to all of you, but I can't. <laughs> So make sure to send me an email to this email address with your address, maybe your phone number and just some information that I need to ship the fog machine to you. So yeah, make sure to send me an email to this address and yeah, thanks for participating and I cannot wait to do more giveaways. So bye, do it.